Good morning, friends. My name is Miss Robin, and I'm a librarian at the Mount Airy branch of Carroll County Public Libraries. Would you like to play and learn with me this morning? Yes? Grown-ups, you may have noticed when I give the boys and girls that come to watch, play, and learn my name, I hold up a piece of paper that has my name on it. You may notice if you go into any preschools or uh, kindergarten classes or any, any place that's educating children who are beginning to read, you'll see labels like this all around the room. This helps connect children to the concept that there are words that have a certain image to go with every object. And that helps in a, in a way of them beginning to learn how to read. So see today, as we're going through Play and Learn, if you can see how we're doing that here, and how I'll show you how you might be able to incorporate some of that at home. All right? Hmm, let's see, friends. How about if we start with a little song, all right? Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Yay! Happy, happy day, friends. Let's see if we can learn something about the ABCs this morning. Ooh, I have a book here. And look, right on the title, do you recognize these letters? A, B, C. And there's a little S. That reads A, B, C's on wheels. <gasps> wheels, hmm. Do you know anything on wheels? I think if you look closely at this book, you might see something. Do you recognize that? It's a fire truck. Yes, and inside this book, there are all kinds of things on wheels and all the letters of the alphabet. How about this one? Look at this image. See the letter H is for hot rod. That's a cool kind of car, isn't it? What about this one? <gasps> Ooh, delicious. It's a truck. What is that on the truck? Ice cream I is for ice cream truck. Oh, grown-ups, I bet there are some friends out there that would love to learn their ABCs this way. Yeah, there's all kinds of ways to introduce your children to the alphabet in a way that they'll connect to it, and they'll be playing and learning at the same time. So cool, right? If you're interested in this book or any others, look online on the, in the library catalog or give me a call here today, and I'm happy to help you borrow some books for your children on the ABCs. Did you notice that up here on my board, friends, I have other letters? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if you recognize any of them. T, R, A, I, N. One, two, three, four, five letters. Those five letters spell train. <gasps> hey, I have a train. Would you like to see it? Here it comes. Can you make the sound like a train? Let me hear you. Choo choo! Here it comes again. Moving down the track. There it goes. I wonder how many of you have toy trains at home because you could sing this song today and have your toy train. Would you like to hear the song? It's a song that repeats itself, so by the time we're moving along, I bet you and your grown-ups can sing it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. There was a choo-choo on the track, and train was its name. T-R-A-I-N, T-R-A-I-N, T. R A I N and train was its name. Does that sound familiar to some of you? 
Now watch what I'm going to do. See the letter T? Uh oh, it's gone. I took it away. So this time when we sing the song, instead of saying the letter T, we're going to clap our hands. Got it? Here we go. There was a choo-choo on the track and train was its name. R-A-I-N, 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 and train was its name. <gasps> Time to take another letter away. Let me see what I'm up to here. Oh, that's upside down. That's so silly. Here we go. Let's sing the song again. There was a choo-choo on the track and train was its name. Two claps. A-I-N. A-I-N. A-I-N and train was its name. Do you know what I'm about to do? Did you guess that I'm going to take away another letter? You're so smart. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Let's sing the song again, and we will clap three times. There was a choo-choo on the track, and train was its name. I-N. I-N. I-N, and train was its name. Oh, my goodness, we're down to just one letter, the letter N. So we are going to clap four times when we sing the song. You got it? We've been doing this over and over and that's how we learn. So I bet you can sing with me. Here we go. There was a choo-choo on the track and train was its name. N. N. N and train was its name. Look at this. If I take away the last letter, now we have zero letters, but look at all the beautiful colors on here. Black, blue, orange, green, and a dark blue, kind of almost purple. What did I make? A train, a train. Let's sing this song one more time, but this time there's no letters. So we're going to clap five times instead of saying T-R-A-I-N. Are you ready? I know you can do it. There was a choo-choo on the track and train was its name. And train was its name. Yay! That was so fun, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I had, had fun with that. Now, grown-ups, if any of you have at home a toy train, you could use this and do this song. I think in the comment section today I'm going to type out the name or the words to the songs that we sing today. But really, all you need is a five-letter word, and you can make up your own lyrics to one of our favorite tunes. I also found here at the library, let's see, I have... Let's see, am I doing this forwards or backwards? It's hard for me in this, in this, let's see, this way. It's hard for me to do this on the screen because everything's kind of reversed. So if I have this backwards, give me a little grace here. Did I do it? Oh, I did it. So here are some blocks. Do you have alphabet blocks at home? Or some people have those alphabet magnets. You could sing this song with any kind of an alphabet today. Yeah, and any toy that you might have. That was so fun. I think we'd, I'd like to do another one, but before we do, let's wake up our brains. It's kind of early. Plus, grown-ups, you may know this already if you've listened to me in the past, that in order to help your children pay attention, often they need to be able to move around first because we learn, all of us, best when we're in a good mood and when we're having a good time. So let me show you, there's not really much that could put you in a better mood than my friend, Mona, the baby. Can you guys say hello? If you've ever been to the Mount Airy Library before, you probably recognize Mona because she likes to play in the play area with little friends, right? And Mona and I miss you very, very much. 
So Mona would like to do a special song with you. Yeah, we'll move around together. How about if you and I and Mona go on an elevator ride, okay? So at the library, we'd go on elevator rides. Is your grown up around? Grown ups. This is a perfect opportunity for you to do some face to face time with your child. They can have fun and you can be lighting up all those brain connections in a way that just looking at a screen does not do, okay? So Mona is sitting on my lap. Boys and girls, you could sit on your grown-up's lap or stand on your own, whichever you would like. But I'm going to bounce Mona for this time. Are you ready? And I'm going to sing the song, and we're going to go for an elevator ride. And sometimes we're going to go up, and sometimes we're going to go down, and sometimes we'll swing side to side. This is how we'll start. Here we go. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land. We live way up on the 52nd floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Ready? Take the elevator up. Take the elevator down. Woo! Take the elevator up. Take the elevator down. Take the elevator up. Take the elevator down. And we spin around. Whee! Should we do it again? This time I'm gonna stand up. Let's do the up and down one more time. Here we go. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And we spin around. Ha! <laughs> Yay! That was so fun. And I know that if you got to have fun moving up and down and round and round, you have woken up those brains. And now we can put on our listening ears and learn one more ABC song. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm going to show you something. See if you know what this is. This might be hard to see because I'm just realizing that my flannel board here is red. And so is this. Can you see what this is? There's wheels. One, two, three, four wheels. Honk, honk, beep, beep. I'll give you another clue in case that's hard to see. Here it comes. Here comes another one driving along. Honk, honk, beep, beep. What is that? Did you say a truck? It is a truck. It's a truck, and look, I have the letters that spell the word truck. T R U C K. T R U C K. Hmm. We're not going to sing this whole song, but I'm going to teach, you, teach it to you one time. And then, grown-ups, you'll get the hang of this. It's just like the bingo song. Oh, look at my big shiny truck. I'm driving it today. Oh, T-R-U-C-K, T-R-U-C-K, T-R-U-C-K. My truck is on its way, oh. Yay! Did you have fun today with the ABCs? Mm -hmm. Let me show you also with my blocks. Now that I'm getting good at this, <gasps> there's the same word, T-R-U-C-K. Can you touch these letters on the screen with your grown-ups? I'm holding them so I cannot touch them. Can you touch the letter T? Good. That's a blue letter, right? Can you touch the letter R? That's the green one. Now all the other letters are the same color. What color are the other letters? Yellow. Can you touch the letter U? Good. Can you touch the letter C? And the last letter, the letter K. So grown-ups, by doing this, you're helping your child learn the direction the text is read, you're, and you're helping them identify letters, and you're having fun, which is the best way for your 
brain to pick up new learnings. Yeah. So I hope I've given you some ideas here today of some songs to sing. And like I said, I will put the words to those songs in the comments section when we're done here. And don't forget, we have a lot of great alphabet books today, if you're interested. All right. Hmm. Time to reach up high. Big stretch. Reach down low. So low, I can't even see you. I hate to say, I gotta go. But before I do, friends, remember, you are great. You are smart. Mm -hmm. You are strong. You are love. And today is gonna be an awesome day. Yay! All right, friends, have a happy day, and I will see you again next week.